Ooh. Today I am drinking a canned rosé from the company Canned Oregon, Pink Rosé Bubbles, and it's really refreshing. And I'm like, this is a quality canned situation. I have to say, even the feel of it, I know you guys can't reach through the screen and feel what I'm feeling, but it has this very sort of satisfying, smooth feel to the can. It says, Canned Oregon is a wine for every lifestyle you lead. Exploring the mountain, relaxing at the beach, or in the city with friends. Oregon isn't just a state, it's a state of mind. I'm into it. Also, this is a 12.5% ABV, and you're basically getting two glasses of wine in this can. Pretty much gonna be wasted. Guys, guess what I'm bringing back? Boxy Charm. That's right, it's happening again. I quit it for a few months because, you know, I'm on the cruise ship and I thought, oh, I don't want all this extra product. And then I was like, I miss Boxy Charm. What I do with Boxy Charm is I keep the things I love and the things that I'm not as crazy about, I just give away to my friends. So, oh my God, what happened to this box? This looks like hell. I can tell that you went a long way and went through a lot to get to me. I really appreciate your commitment. This box is so good. I'm starting back in strong, folks. This August box is really great, and there's lots of products in it, which I'm really excited to talk about. Some of the products I have tried, some of them I'm trying for the first time. If you guys aren't familiar with BoxyCharm, it is a monthly subscription service where you pay, I think it's $21 a month, and you get a box every month that has at least $100 worth of product. Honestly, every single box I've ever gotten has way more than $100 worth of product in it. So the theme of this box is totally boxy charm. I, I like literally don't even know what that means. It's just totally, I guess. Okay, boxy charm. Try harder on the theme next time. So this is a try on style video. I'm going to take you through each product and put it on my face. First product up is the Wander Glow Ahead Illuminating Oil. This multitasking beauty elixir instantly hydrates and absorbs into the skin, revealing a bouncy, youthful complexion no matter what skin type you have. The lightweight, powerful formula nourishes and primes the skin and helps to restore the skin's moisture barrier while providing a youthful glow. The spill-proof dropper allows you to use it one drop at a time. And this retails for $42. You guys know I love me a face oil. The directions tell you to use two to three drops of the face oil, but I'm using a little bit more because that's just not enough. You can see what they're talking about with the, the dropper here. It's, it's kind of cool and it is spill proof. So we love that. And also it's pink and we love that. It's pink and very glowy looking. I don't have anything on my skin right now. So this is in fact going to be my moisturizer and my primer. It smells really nice. I mean, I have used it a couple times before applying my makeup this week and I have really liked it. It says it's a potent blend of our signature beauty oils and antioxidants. And it looks like there's black currant seed oil and niacinamide. I don't know what that is, but okay. That doesn't sound like natural, but I'm sure someone um, will tell me what that is in the comments. It also said it is formulated without mineral oil, parabens, synthetic fragrance, and it is cruelty free. I feel like you can see my skin is nice and glowy. It's hydrated. The thing I do like about this is it is a face oil, but it isn't super heavy. It doesn't feel greasy. So it really is nice for a foundation application right afterward. I will say that a lot of things in this box are pink and this drink is pink so yay pink the next product we're going to move on to is the luxie i don't know how to pronounce this it, it oh it tells me gaya jaya I don't know. This is a three-piece brush set from Luxie. Create the perfect look with your new eco-friendly Luxie brush set. There's a foundation brush, a large eye blending brush, and a precision crease brush in here. This retails for $30. I have tried the large eye blending brush. I will say I love Luxie brushes. They are so soft and these are no exception. And you can see it's made with I don't know, it looks very like natural wood on the handle. So obviously it's eco-friendly. If that's something that is really important to you, it should be important to us all. Go get yourself some. This is the foundation brush, which we are gonna use next. This is the large eyeshader brush, and this is the precision crease brush. I haven't used this foundation brush yet, and I'm really excited to do that. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to use my NARS P40 
Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Terra Nueve. I don't really apply my foundation a lot with brushes anymore. I tend to use a beauty blender or something of the like, but kind of digging it. It's just really nice and soft and smooth. And I do like to put the product directly onto my face so that I don't lose a lot of product on the application tool. Usually I would go in with a sponge and kind of make sure there are no brush strokes, but honestly, I feel like that applied gorgeously, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. And I am going to use this brush to apply my concealer as well. I'm just gonna go in with my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I am in the shade Light 12. I have loved every single Luxie brush set that I have gotten in my BoxyCharm, and they do tend to send quite a few sets throughout the year, I find, and I'll tell you what, I am not mad about it. These brushes are so luxurious and soft, specifically for the price point. I mean, three of these for $30, that's $10 a piece for what you're getting. Um, bargains. This is applying my concealer gorgeously as well. And on top of that, that face oil is a great, base for foundation. I mean, I'm using a tinted moisturizer and I don't feel like I'm giving you an oily situation. I feel like I'm giving you a pretty like natural glowy situation, but also a great thing to use under, you know, something more matte and a little bit more full coverage just to make sure you don't get too dry. I feel like my left eyebrow is extra high and evil looking today. Does anyone else see that? <sighs> Drives me nuts. Okay, so I'm going to use the other brushes when I move on to the palette that was included in the box. We're moving on to our next product, which is something I am very, very excited about. So excited about it. In fact, I had to jump the gun and put it in my last video before I even posted this. This product, I put it back in the box because I don't know why. This is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh powder. Guys, I listed this as one of my top five game changer products. I love this. Let me just read what they said about it here. This is a weightless powder that sets and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth invisible finish. Formulated with 50% water and glycerin, this powder creates a mist-like sensation on the skin for a seamless finish and a comfortable feel. This retails for $39. So this little cover here keeps the product cool. Then it has one of those little nifty bouncy nets, which I love in a loose powder. The really cool, no pun intended, part of this product is that when you put it on your face, it literally feels almost kind of wet. It's so refreshing. Also, I feel like this is something that's perfect for people who are trying to, you know, kind of refresh and put their makeup on after they've worked out. I'm a person who takes four Ever to cool down. I mean, I need at least like 45 minutes to an hour after a workout for my face to get not scary and unread. So this would be a perfect powder because it's so refreshing and cooling. And here's the thing, eventually, if the cooling aspect of this goes away, like some people have told me it will, I love the product itself regardless of that. The reason I'm so obsessed with this is because it gives me such a flawless finish. I just feel like my skin looks like porcelain. It's incredibly fine milled. I mean, I'm putting this on my finger and I literally feel like there's silk between my fingers. If you watched my last video, you already know how I feel about this. This is a little bit redundant but I just think this is it. I mean, run, do not walk, pretty much. Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder, good job. Okay, so I went ahead and just did my blush and my brows just to kind of get that out of the way so we can move on to our next product, which is, wait, wine break. Mm. I got two different eyeshadow products in this box, which is a little bit strange, but I'm just going to show you the first set of eyeshadows. They're really gorgeous, and these are from Ace Beauty. They're glimmer shadows. High pigmented soft shadows with a creamy texture specifically designed for the ultimate color payoff. These shadows provide bold color in one swipe without fallout, creasing, or fading. These retail for $25, so I guess the pair of them. Um, I'm actually going to use the palette they sent me. I kind of had to pick and choose because these colors are very, 
very opposite from the colors in the palette they sent. This shade is called Huckleberry and it's really gorgeous. When I put my finger into it, it feels pretty identical to the ColourPop Super Shock shadows and that's immediately what I thought of when I saw these in the box. And you guys know how much I love the ColourPop Super Shock shadows. They're like one of my favorite eyeshadow products that exist. I'm just gonna swatch this for you. That is Huckleberry. It's really pretty, just like a really vibrant sort of deep hot pink and of course it's shimmery and glimmery. We also have the color French Vanilla which is just a really pretty icy blue. Woo girl! Ooh, I'm gonna have to use that. Maybe I'll use that on my inner corner because that is actually stunning. But you can see actually like most of it came off in this watch and I don't have much left on my fingers, which I kind of love. I think these are beautiful. I'm gonna try to incorporate this shade into my look. What I will say is that no shade on Ace Beauty because love these, but just go get yourself some ColourPop Super Shock shadows. I mean, these are literal dupes for that and those are more inexpensive than these are so I would just say why wouldn't you just use the color pop but those are really gorgeous and it seems to be a really nice quality product so so now we're going to move on to the palette that they sent me that is the butter london natural goddess eyeshadow palette serving queendom realness bring out your inner goddess in butter london's vibrant natural goddess eyeshadow palette enchant with six highly pigmented long-lasting shades whether you're feeling like a diva or a temptress these cruelty-free shadows pair effortlessly to create imaginative looks that will make a powerful entrance. I love these shades in the pan. I just think I'm going to be a huge fan. I mean, we'll see how they apply. You have Enchantress, Queen, Star, Diva, Temptress, and Femme Fatale. It's a really pretty palette. It's got that natural wood. It's just like a really nice, clean, attractive palette. Okay, so I am not really feeling the coppers today. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially with what I'm wearing. I guess I didn't plan that out very well. I'm gonna go in with Enchantress first, which is just a really pretty champagne shade. You can see, oh, it's yellowy. All right, well, I'm going to pat this shimmer in. Oh, it's actually kind of a light yellowy bronze shade. I'm gonna pat this in with my finger because I feel like with shimmers, that's oftentimes the best way to go. Well, that's actually really pretty. This is definitely like a one and done shade for me. I mean, I'm not gonna get crazy with this palette, guys. I'm just not. I'm gonna be honest with you. I filmed some of the other shades and I completely went back and took off all of my eye makeup because it was just way too much for me. Just not feeling it today. So you know what? We're just going with the flow here. This Enchantress is just a gorgeous one and done buttery shimmer. Now I'm going to go in with this shade. It's called Queen. I'm going to swatch that for you. It's this really pretty sort of coppery rose gold. I'm going to go in pretty light with that. And I am going to actually use my brush to apply that because I don't want it to be like super high pigmented. Blending, blending, blending that into the shade I just applied. You can see the difference between this eye and this eye is really subtle, but I kind of love that. It's kind of giving it this like orangey yellow duochrome situation. And I really do like this brush. It's really nice and soft and it's perfect for a simple eye look to just make sure everything is really nice and blended. So now I'm going to take that shade Queen again and I'm going to rim the lower lash line with it. I'm using the Precision Crease brush for this. I think this is a great liner brush because it has a really hard feel to it. It's very firm, so you have a really nice control. And I did wet the brush as well. I do think this palette is really gorgeous. It is definitely a warm toned palette. So if you're a person who loves a good warm toned palette, this is right up your alley. You're kind of just like really taking this down a little lower than probably feels natural. I tried to do the look that didn't work out with this chocolate brown shade called Temptress and it just did not blend well at all. So I'm kind of disappointed in these two mattes. I do like the shimmers. I think they're just a really beautiful fall spectrum. We're going to move on to eyeliner in a second, but I'm going to try to work this Ace Beauty eyeshadow into this look. I'm going to just use this as an inner corner highlight and see how that works out. 
That's actually a gorgeous inner corner highlight. It's very sort of angelic looking. I like that. Okay, so now I'm moving on to the eyeliner. This is the Hollywood and Vine Velvety Touch Smooth Coal Eyeliner. This creamy formula glides on smooth and adds drama to any desired look. And this retails for $7. So I actually have used this and I don't hate it. You know, I mean, it's just a basic black eyeliner for $7. I feel like yeah, okay. It's not going to probably win in my book against my Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-Ons. But like I said, you know, those are more expensive. This is seven bucks. I am going to go ahead and be a little bit extra and do my waterline with this as well. Do just a, like a teeny baby wing here just to kind of make my eyes look a little bit bigger than they are. It actually is setting into my waterline pretty well. So the last product is the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and I kept the box because I just think it's fabulous. This is an ultra black vegan mascara that lifts your lashes and delivers a fully loaded flutter for up to 16 hours. This retails for $23 and I have tried this. So let's just get going. I mean, this might be my most favorite mascara tube I've ever seen in my damn life. All right, so while I curl my lashes, I just have to tell you guys that on my TV, they're playing Beaches. Beaches was one of my first movies that I ever saw in life, so I just feel very connected to it, and I have to tell you that I was five years old. Yes, five years old old and we were living in Fargo, North Dakota, which is where I was born. My mom left me with one of my friends who was a neighbor girl and her mother for the day. The mother decided that she was going to take us to the movies and these two little five-year-old girls ended up seeing beaches. I feel like it's rated R. If it's not, it's PG-13. Regardless, Kate's mama was not a happy camper when little Kate came home and told her that she had seen beaches. I've seen beaches like so many times. It's countless. I love it. I have the soundtrack memorized. I could do auto titsling like right here right now for you. I'm not gonna do that, okay? I just finished watching it again today and I was just sitting here trying to imagine myself as this super like shy little girl watching this incredibly intense movie that was wildly inappropriate for me to see. I had so many questions for my mom. It's probably part of the reason I'm so neurotic today. I mean, Barbara Hershey dies this horribly sad death. I'm just like, little peanut Kate was not dealing well with that. I just have to say, let's just be a little bit thoughtful about what we are showing our kids because I can honestly remember having so many questions and being so confused and upset after seeing that movie. You know what one of the scariest scenes was for me when she does that off-Broadway show about like the industrial revolution or whatever the hell that is? If you guys remember that O industry number, I give you props. Does anyone remember that number? Anyone. With those terrifying men with the masks and they take the masks off and they're faceless. Ministry, charity, faith, home. Okay, and now I have like 18 coats of mascara on. I think it's hilarious that the movie that scarred me most for life was Beaches. Beaches and that scene from Indiana Jones, Temple of Doom, when the guy rips that man's heart out with his bare hand. I don't even think I've recovered from that fully to this day. Of course, again, I was over at one of my friend's house and they just had it on casually. Can't show kids that shit. So let me talk a little bit about this mascara that I've been applying for the last five minutes. I really do like this, but what I will say is I feel like I really have to build this up. It goes on very light and it does define each lash. I feel like it's really nice and fluffy. I can build it up to a really dramatic lash. It just takes a lot of coats. Okay, so that is the Big Ego Mascara from Tarte. Damn, I love that packaging. Okay, so just to kind of recap the box, my absolute favorite things were, of course, that Becca powder is just like, this is it for me. I also did like the Wander Illuminating Face Oil. Would I spend $42 on this? Probably not. Did I like it? Yeah, I liked it. The mascara, I really like. I think it got me to the place I wanted with my lashes. These Ace Beauty eyeshadows are a really beautiful formula. I really liked this as an inner corner highlight. Again, I don't know that I would spend the 
money on these if I know that I can get basically the same exact formula except even just a little bit better with the ColourPop Super Shock shadows, but I did like this formula. The eyeliner was fine. It's $7. I feel like it went on pretty smooth and for the price point, yeah, I would say, okay, sure, why not? The three-piece brush set is really nice. I mean, you can't go wrong with Luxie. They just make a great product and I love that these are eco-friendly. My favorite was the foundation brush. I just think that this applied my foundation beautifully. I have to say I'm kind of disappointed in this Butter London palette because I thought I was going to be a huge fan. The actual palette itself looks stunning. I didn't like how the mattes applied. They were patchy and I just completely got rid of my entire makeup look because I could not stand how this chocolate brown applied. The rest of the shimmers are really pretty but I feel like you can kind of get that in so many other palettes so I don't know that I would recommend this palette to be honest. So this box added up to a total of $198 worth of product. I'm walking away with at least three products that I'm really impressed with so you know I feel pretty good about this box. If you guys do want to check out BoxyCharm I've listed my BoxyCharm link down below. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you guys are enjoying my content please do subscribe, share, and like and click that little bell right beneath the video with the parentheses around it. That is going to alert you anytime I drop a new video. Mm. Okay, bye!